Welcome back students in the video Australia part 3. In my last video, we covered the feature A, the deserts. Here we will explore feature B, that is the Nalbor plain. From the map, it's clear that it lies to the south of all the deserts and north of the Great Australian Bight. The word Nalarbor derives from the two Latin words Nullus meaning no and Arbor meaning tree. Thus, the term Nalarbor is a flat, treeless, wide area which is made up of limestone rocks. As water flow through these limestone rocks. So here in the plain, you will find huge underground caves. Inside these caves, two beautiful formations such as stalactites and stalagmites are found. You will notice that stalactites are formations that hang from the ceiling of the caves, whereas Stalagmites rise up from the floors. First, you should know that calcite, mineral consisting calcium carbonate, is an important component of limestone which dissolves when water drips into the caves. This dripping water leaves behind traces of calcite on the roofs of the caves. These deposits slowly built up like icicle shaped formation. Icicle shape means hanging ice formation by the water freezing. These are known as stalactites. The water drips from the tips of the stalactites on the floors of the caves. It leaves deposits of calcite there as well. Over time, stalagmites are formed. Sometimes, stalactites and stalagmites are joined together to form pillars or columns. 